Alrighty, everyone. Welcome to part four of DSP versus the Internet for June 17, 2023. This is actually episode 18, and we're heading into the second half of the show. These are the standard member submissions. These are in shuffle, randomized order, so you never know what you're going to see next. So let's see what we're going to see next. Here we go. Street Fighter VI is the sequel to Street Fighter V, which was the prequel. This person sounds familiar. Yes, this is Video Game Donkey. Is Street Fighter VI better than Gollum? Let's find out to the first of three versions of Street Fighter 3 which came out 19 years earlier. All of this makes more sense to me than doing combos in Street Fighter 4. Mm -hmm. Let's get straight to business. Street Fighter 6 has working online play. Yes, it does. When 5 came out, it launched without an arcade mode and online played like this. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. And by the way, this is not the launch. That was With like Street two Fighter years Six, in. Street Fighter is back to being a real video game. The matchmaking is fast. The load times are quick. And when you get into matches, you can actually play the game. Gotcha. <laughs> I guess he uses Honda. You did, boy. And the game is a lot of fun. You can parry like Street Fighter 3. You can do a risky chungo slam like 4 and dash in with the green mode. You can spend some meter to do a counter blast. But if you run out of juice, you enter the danger mode, which is bad. You don't want to be in that mode. Nope. It's funny because he's actually Capcom being serious. He's trying to make players talking. at every oh. skill level feel more powerful. Never mind. There's a funny <laughs> answer that does commentary over your matches like you're playing at Evo. Heading into the end game now. It's getting tense. Get the bar on the Player one, they're going for the That's James Chen, I think, right? Beginners can destroy the AI in world tour mode. Novice players can use the modern control scheme to spam specials with the press of a button. Intermediate players can outperform combos, and expert players can just clean house with all these new players coming to the game. That's right. I did not expect to get a good ranking in Street Fighter because Street Fighter is hard. But then I went on a 16 match win streak and got placed in platinum. Nice. So since I get to win a lot, this is a good game. Since I get to win a lot, this is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And oh, rage quit. Okay. Rage <laughs> quit. Mode is what you would expect from a modern fighting game. The higher level AIs can put up a nice challenge, but the character endings are pretty abysmal. Remember in Street Fighter 2 when you're at the award ceremony and Ryu doesn't even show up? He's like, I don't give a shit about the money. I'm already walking to the next challenge. <laughs> That was a badass ending. Yes, it was. In Street Fighter VI, Ryu's ending is that a dude looks at that ending on his phone. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what? Maybe this ain't so bad. Yes, it is. Shut up. I miss the days when fighting games had to tell their story through the arcade mode. Right. Instead of That's some how the story happened. Single player mode like World Tour mode. <laughs> Look at this character. Holy shit. I thought mine was ugly. Is the character <clears throat> Yeah, gotta say, you're photogenic. <laughs> Basically, you run around a 3D city punching people on the sidewalk because the game is called Street Fighter. Oh my hold god. Hold trigger and press an attack button to perform the master action. So hold this and hit <laughs> <laughs> it's surprising how much punch the old one right in the this, face. But like most gimmick modes, it mostly squanders yes. what's great about the game. The computer players are set to a very low difficulty. Look at that nice, uh, that nice apparel. Back. They just kind of stand there and die. It's not a good mode, but it is a very funny mode. Ugh. You're strong. Oh yeah. There's a lot of new faces First thing that on came to mind. I fought Roomba. I fought refrigerator. I fought truck. Nuh. I fought basketball. basketball. Look at his when face. When I entered the online lobby, I noticed that my monstrosity of a character actually fit in very well uh. with this community. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. Oh my god. I haven't been on there yet. I can't wait to see the avatars. Oh my god. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 6. Oh. <laughs> you Over can float. Here at this desk, you can enter tournaments, <clears throat> which do not actually work, and then the guy behind the desk dances while you yell at him. There is also a rotating selection of arcade cabinets where you can compete each day for high scores. This is a really cool feature. You can play Mega Man to Power Battle. People who don't know any better can play Street Fighter 1. That's War. right. In Final Fight, you slam through the same city from World Tour mode, except instead of winning indefinitely, you die immediately. <laughs> now when people go, oh, Donkey, you suck at Street Fighter. 
I can be like, oh yeah? Then explain how I'm ranked 62 on Volgus. Even though on Volgus. looks like he belongs in the Smeagol game. What the I hell? Look at his head! Say it. A big bulbous Street onion. Six is more fun than Smeagol game. Are you serious? I miss. about fighting games knows about the 3 a.m. test, okay? Street Fighter 6 has passed that test multiple times where you look at the clock and go, oh, okay, we, we got to get off of this now. The... This is amazing. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at the neck. Oh, my God. Ooh, it's like a giraffe. Oh, my God. How much longer is this? I'm just curious how long this video is. Oh, we're about the end. This is the end. Pretty good. Pretty good video. Entertaining. Two, oh my god. Two million views. Dude, Video Game Dougie's popular, huh? He got two million views on that video in like five days. That's nuts. This guy's crazy popular. Whew. Well, good on him. The video was, was actually informative and entertaining at the same time. So good for him, man. All right, next. Be careful, the ring's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is an old video about me. This is when people used to make these mo negative montages about me. The thing is, I don't really care. So let's watch it. This is a... Oh, oh it's 15 minutes? Alright, we're not watching 15 minutes. Let's watch some of supposedly controller slams and more. Here we go. What? Hey, you wow. missed, pal. Eat my fucking asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, you missed, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is a set like seven years old, this video. What's funny is, in reality, I only ever broke one controller. And I remember specifically when it was, it was a God of War game. I can't remember which one. But I got so pissed, I slammed it on my old table in Connecticut. I broke it. It was my red PlayStation 3 controller. I broke it. It was fucked up and never worked again. But outside of that, I never ever broke anything, so. Okay. <laughs> this guy. If you a fighting game, I never would have expected I'd be angry. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my fucking god! I'm gonna find out where the asshole is, where he lives, who fucking decided to kick you out of their own game demo. I'm gonna fucking cook his fucking ball. <laughs> fucking wait for this. Wait a minute. Are there hot black women in Belgium? What? Oh my god. I'm stuck in place again. I can't fucking move, dude. This is fucking bullshit. Sure. I'm really crazy. <laughs> move, asshole. Move your fucking crazy. ass. Beach. He's stuck in place and won't fucking move. Stupid game glitch. This is bullshit. Fucking unbelievable, man. What the fuck? It still wouldn't work. Yeah, this is the, right, the game glitch. He wouldn't idea. move. He get, I kept reloading. He was still what stuck. What the fuck is wrong with this shit, man? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, here's the classic, the Howard. What the hell game is this? I press jump. I'm getting pissed with this fucking shit. I press fucking jump. What the fuck game is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's Castlevania. It's one of the shitty Castlevania games. I'm gonna smash this fucking thing. I press jump. I'm sm ah, it. smashing work it. Controls work. I'm smashing it. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! You're out of your mind! I pressed R2. Well, there's a lot from Castlevania. Damn. So, all right. Woo punch the switch. How do you punch the fucking switch? <laughs> I'm so tired of this shit. <laughs> Jim is a fucking cocksucker. <clears throat> Oh my god! Well, I was gonna kick my ass. I thought that I was done. I thought that it was lit up, so I changed it. And, uh, I don't. Rem I don't remember this game at all. Honestly, ass. Lords of Shadow. I don't remember it. It's so long ago. Look at my old it's camera style. So shitty. This fucking game pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, this is the most frustrating fucking game of the year because Kojima's a fucking asshole. <laughs> now my controller don't even work. I slammed it so hard. <laughs> yeah, I broke it. Oh look. That's my controller right now. <clears throat> Excellent. <laughs> so I did break a different controller. 
I didn't remember this at all. I don't ever remember this at all. I broke this controller. I just controller. looked at my table and I realized slamming the controller down, I have all these not big gashes in my fucking wooden table in front of me now from when I was slamming it down. Wow. I was so frustrated. Marvel 3. Oh my god, completely unearned. I cannot believe how laggy this fucking game is, man. I can't do a basic combo. So what I'm going to go do is punch the Sega CD and try to get it to shut the fuck up. And of course, the Sega CD just crashed. <gasps> and you know what? It, it actually worked because the sound has gone away. So here we go. I'm Witcher. This is gonna be Witcher Two because Witcher Three I was I doing direct captures. This must be Witcher Two on sucks. PC. <clears throat> it's <laughs> to slam it to get it to work. I'm pressing the button. Yo, I couldn't move. My keyboard didn't work. Oh, I'm My okay, okay, okay. Like With thi shit. this one makes sense. So back then. <clears throat> When I played a PC game, I still played it on my couch. I had my PC hooked up to my TV, and I used a wireless keyboard and mouse, but what happened was I kept having issues where they would desync. So I'd be in the middle of playing a PC game, and the fucking thing would stop working during like a boss fight and shit. That happened to me all the time back in the day. So that's what was going on there. Well, now I can't <laughs> move. Keyboard doesn't work. Yeah, and see? <laughs> the keyboard would just stop working. I'm like, oh, shit. shit. Keyboard. <laughs> Pressing three. Yo, the keyboard doesn't work at all. Yeah. What the fuck? Work, you fucking piece of shit. It would desync and fuck fucking up. Fucking piece of garbage. I can't move. I'm pressing. What is it, right a giant click, octopus? A giant happens. octopus boss. I don't even remember this. Wow. This. I can't blame the game. It's my controls. My mouse and my fucking keyboard aren't working consistently. And I'm not blaming the game. I'm blaming my fucking peripherals. God damn it. <laughs> Look, I can't. What the hell? I can't even skip anything. Look. Pressing three, nothing's happening. Oh my god, how long did I fight this boss? <clears throat> Work, you piece of shit. My Castlevania playthrough was legendary, three. was it? Still I don't remember it at all. Here, here's the thing. So, this September is my 15-year anniversary as a content creator. September 2023. The first week of September, alright, what I would like to do is I would like to do a special event to celebrate my 15 years, and I'd like people to find stuff like that. Find stuff that are like... <clears throat> the most funny moments of things I've done and we're going to do a retrospective event where I, we'll watch them back together, okay? So it'll be a pretty cool special event um, but I need people to find stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So we can watch it together. So yeah, thanks. I mean, let's let's do that. Keyboard and nothing's working. My keyboard needs to fucking work. Jesus. Oh, I hit it so hard you can see the TV now. At the bottom of the screen, an LG I look. I can't move now because my keyboard doesn't I work. I fucked the camera up. My keyboard is not working at all. I'm holding left. Nothing. Look. Holding oh right. no, not this holding boss left, fight. Let right. though. I remember this guy. Keyboard. Fucking piece of shit. This fight was fucked up because it took me a million tries to beat him. Can't move. It wasn't working. I was stuck for a second. What is going on? Yo, I can't. The game's bugged out. I can't move. What's this? I'm not kidding. This? I can't move. Nothing's working. I can't, even escape's not working. Yo, my keyboard's all fucked up. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Oh my god, another game where the keyboard wasn't working. Yeah, PC gaming was always so inconsistent for me. my keyboard and plug it back <clears> in. What game even is this? Come on, Oh, man. it's Duke Nukem. What the fuck? It was Duke Nukem. Fuck, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Slamming every time. Fuck, I fired. I think it takes too long to fucking reload. Ah! This is random shit just happening now. Wow. Oh, here's Catherine for everybody. Fuck it. Oh god, no more heroes look, look, one. Look, look, this is how you dodge. You hold the button and you go like this. It doesn't fucking this work. PS it sucks move. ass. Why the fuck would anyone want to play this game with motion control? It fucking doesn't work. Just keep doing these fired up attacks. I can't dodge. All I'm doing, look, all I'm doing is dodge. Duh. Dodge. Wow. Fucking piece of shit. I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Come on. Yeah, it didn't work and at it all. Ever, it was actually ever. a big I problem with the PS Move controller. It didn't work with this game right properly. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> Fuck, man. This game's fucking bullshit. What the fucking <laughs> shit? Wow. What the fucking shit? 
What was I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm pre doing what it says. Speed up. I'm pressing L2. I still don't. I died. I'm gonna redo another fucking. What is this screen? What the fuck does the screen have to do with the game? You. <laughs> Yo. Oh that my makes god. No sense. No sense. I'm pressing it. Look how. Oh my god. Look at the size of it. That's ridiculously big. Oh god, I just spilled water all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, spilled water all over my floor. <laughs> I don't want to fucking be a manager and pay my fucking employees. That's what the fucking accountant does. I didn't know because you had to press bumper buttons. What the fuck? Shitty interface is this? Man? Bumper you buddies? These games and you can't make an interface where you can go back if you accidentally skip appearance? What a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> Game over. Unfucking real, dude. Yeah, uh huh. Our defense sucks monkey dicks. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Look. Our defense sucks Wookie dicks. Uh, what made me think uh, of that? This song sucks. I want to play some, some Star Wars. <laughs> Fucking man annoying. He's not the most annoying voice. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. I lost that game, man. Here, my air conditioner's making a lot of fucking noise. It's annoying. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. That's funny shit, man. Yeah, that's funny shit. Here's Edwards. Edwards with that touchdown. What happened? It froze? My Xbox locked up. Ah! This is fucking stupid shit. <laughs> this is fucking horse shit. Fucking. Oh my so god. I'm pissed right now. I hate this shit. Wow. With shitty well, licensed music, too. Back ass. in the day, it wasn't a big deal. Of course, today, licensed music fucks your video up. You gotta fucking <clears> beat him <throat> twice in a row. Wow. This is stupid. Two yard rush, six yard rush, three yard rush, touchdown. Fuck you. Fuck this bullshit. Wow. Fuck this. I don't want to hear this song. I'm pissed. Duh. I'm pissed at this fucking stupid game. Fuckers. Piss me off. This is ridiculous. Damn, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. <clears throat> Seriously, I'm gonna fucking quit. I'm just gonna stop playing. Shut the fuck up. Ah! Son of a bitch. It's a fucking piece of shit. I'm pressed. I pressed up. Up. <laughs> I did it move twice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Nope. Shut up. Nope. Shut, Shut up. The fuck up. All right. All right. That's enough. I, even I can't take more than that. That's funny though. See, that's what I, I understand. Like, like I feel like a video like this. Is fine. This this video is perfectly fine. It's funny. It highlights all silly moments of me being overly rage filled. There's nothing harmful whatsoever in this video. It's a good one, right? If only everyone on the internet was like this, <clears throat> then I wouldn't have the incredible amount of toxicity towards me. I think everyone would make fun of me for silly moments in gameplay or whatever, right? But this is a, a respectfully done video. Good viewer count. They earned that. Good for them. I like this video. More like this. Less with ridiculous, nonsensical, over-the-top, conspiracy theory bullshit you made up about my personal life. More like this. Because I'm sure there's plenty of stuff you can highlight just like this that would be entertaining. Why can't you make more content like this? Sadly, this is seven years old, right? We're all these compilations, right? But this is the problem. Over the years, there used to be compilations like this. And then, at one point, they all changed into just insane, over-the-top, made-up bullshit about private shit that has nothing to do with my content. It's fucked up, so. All right, let's move on. That was a good video. Whoever submitted that one, that was good. I like that. What is this? A meaty sauce. Look at that. How to make authentic spaghetti bolognese. Ooh, authentic spaghetti bolognese. This is everything you will require to make authentic spaghetti bolognese. Ensure that your ingredients are as fresh as possible. So they're gonna to make it out of like, from going scratch. To prepare Look at that. Vegetables. All these veggies. Step one: peel and dice three carrots. The carrots. Yeah, I didn't even know this, but then I, I actually had watched some cooking shows. Yes. Typical spaghetti bolognese, which is a meat sauce, Place actually has carrots, carrots in it, which I didn't into realize. A bowl and put to one side. Now we're going to peel and dice one pound of Roma tomatoes. Using a knife gently, remove the skin of the tomatoes, Oop. then thoroughly dice them. 
yummy. Place into a bowl and put to one side for later. Next, we are going to dice three garlic, garlic. cloves. Place into a bowl and put to one side Very for good. later. Now we are going onion. to dice onion. This will make you cry no matter what onion. you do. You're gonna cry like a baby. They didn't do place it right. There's a, a technique you can use to, to do an onion real later. fast. Next, and we're make going it that to pick to six do fresh do basil leaves. leaves. Then roly chop them up. Place into a bowl and put to one basil? side for like later. Basil, right? Now it's time to make the bolognese sauce. Bolognese Place sauce. a large skillet onto your cooktop. Turn on You have a dog heat. named Bolognese. Says SP Place Plato. one teaspoon that's of a, that's a unique oil name. into the pan. The dog. Wait a couple minutes for it to heat up. Add your onion. Carrot. Nice music. And garlic. I've never made so a meat sauce like this minutes. before. I've only made the ginormous batch of my, my family recipe sauce, which technically could be considered a meat sauce, but I usually add make meatballs or sausage in it. Beef. I don't Still. actually add ground beef to it like this. So it would be definitely would be different. This is as a meat is like the main when ingredient. When meat is browned and onions are soft, add tomatoes. Tomatoes. Thoroughly stir for approximately five minutes. The tomatoes will begin to soften and release their juices. Oh yeah! Release that juice! When they have adequately broken down, add your fresh basil. Basil! Add the basil! One teaspoon yes, of Yes, I've sugar. had a bolognese before, Derek. I Salt. Enjoyed a delicious bolognese with basil. And Thoroughly Some mix and black bring pepper. to simmer. <clears throat> yummy, yummy. Simmer for at least three hours. Stirring You heard what he said. Did you? Now hold on. The you lower... heard what he said. Simmer at least three hours. Now you heard that, right? Because what's hilarious is when I used to make my sauce, people would be like, oh, you don't have to cook it that long. Yes, you do. If you're making any authentic sauce, it has to simmer for at a minimum of three hours. You can actually have it cook a little bit further as well, but absolutely, absolutely. And by the way, they put sugar in there, right? You have to, you're supposed to put some sugar in there. This is all correct. This is this is pretty accurate, This uh, this recipe, I would say. Pretty good. You simmer, the better. When it's almost finished simmering, start preparing the pasta. Place the a pasta. large pot on your stove top. Fill with water. Turn on high heat. Bring boil to boil. The pasta. Carefully place your spaghetti into the boiling water. Don't forget to salt the water. Cook until al dente, usually around 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, drain the water immediately. Now, uh -huh. it's time to serve the there spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti On a bolognese. Place down your cooked spaghetti. Then, several generous scoops of the bolognese sauce. Yummy. Garnish with fresh basil. This authentic Italian spaghetti bolognese was incredibly easy that to make. That looks great. The sauce I bet it tastes is incredibly amazing. rich and delicious. And the pasta Me is though, honestly, I would probably add more seasoning and stuff. I probably would have like put in some oregano uh, and, and maybe some other seasonings, tossed them in there when it was cooking to simmer into the sauce. So it would have a little bit of extra stuff, right? <clears throat> there you go. Oh, I know what channel this is because we're not done yet. Watch, he's going to fuck it up now. You ready? I'm pretty sure that's what this channel is, right? He's going to fuck it up now. See? It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare where he made a real recipe. Because that's not what this channel does. See? He didn't do it yet. So he actually made the real thing first, and now he's going to do his fucked up version. Here you go. So, I mean, it's a unique, it's definitely a unique, 
uh, a unique channel because it has that comedy aspect to it. But in reality, that was funny that he actually had done a real recipe for once, right? What the hell is this? Hold on. The clip, they, they can never catch me slipping every time your girl around. She be watched the way I'm dripping, dripping. What the fuck? <laughs> I wonder, I actually wonder, are there people really like that in the gym? <laughs> they have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, this is Angry Grandpa's Dream Car. Let's end this video with this one. Um, As you know, we've watched Angry Grandpa on this show before. I don't find anything ever funny in the Angry Grandpa. I always thought that it was ridiculous over the top stuff. I think what they did in this video, they bought him a car. Let's see. Actually, oh, for Christmas. Yeah. Look. The hell? They bought him his dream car. After him, him making them all that money in all the videos, they bought him the car he always wanted. <laughs> Listen, I told you that one day I was gonna get it for you. It's a no! heartfelt, uh, a heartfelt video. Merry Christmas! No. It's yours, man. That's the same car from Big Wick. I teased you with it a little bit. It is, I mean, it's crazy to see that all the years, because he made videos for how many years? A long time, right? Like, it was over a decade that they were making those Angry Grandpa videos. It's pretty crazy that those very simple, over-the-top, smashing things in the house, yelling, doing dumb shit videos made them so much money, right? I mean, look, 36 million views on this video, right? So that every video they put out, they were probably making, no exaggeration, tens of thousands of dollars each video and you know they were probably putting out you know a video a week every other week you know they were probably making a million or more a year on youtube they had to have been right more than probably more than that on these these videos that are just who would have thought a video of an old guy just acting like that would have you know been so popular and allowed them to do so it's nice to see because yes angry grandpa passed away people are saying in 2017 so if this was six years ago Shit, this was actually near the end, wasn't it? Was this not near the end of his lifespan? Man. Yeah, this is, might have been like right there. So this is kind of the end, almost like the epilogue story, right? <clears throat> is that after all those years of making those ridiculous videos, he was able to get his dream car that he wanted his whole life, right? It's pretty crazy. Huh. All right. Well, this is where we will end this part of DSP versus the Internet. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the show. If you are, I would ask if you could consider possibly becoming a member on the channel. That would be amazing, obviously. Um, it helps the channel. That's how you're going to get your videos uh, watched on the show. If you're an ultra member, it's a guarantee. If you're a standard member, that's how you get into this randomized playlist here. <clears throat> so thanks for watching, and uh, on to the next part.